we had taken an overview that how recombination DNA technology works and how a genetically modified organism would be obtained or rather to put it in other words we have seen how a transformant is obtained which contains the recombinant DNA. Now we are going to see what all processes are taking place and how do they take place. So the first stage that we have is isolation of genetic material. You remember the first step that we discussed in the overview was that gene of interest was taken and that was incorporated into the vector. But for taking out that gene of interest from the cell, a process is to be carried out and that is studied under isolation of genetic material. Because this is recombinant DNA technology, so we are taking the DNA over here. The DNA has to be extracted from the cell. Now you know where DNA lies inside the cell, if it is a eukaryotic cell, it lies inside the nucleus. When we talked about DNA, we studied that in the nucleus, the DNA is present on the chromosomes, on chromosomes it is highly coiled in, in and around the proteins. So for extracting that DNA, you have to pass the various stages. Now what are those two stages? Supposedly you have to extract DNA from the central part of the cell. So you have to pass all the stages. What would be those stages? If it is a plant cell, there would be a cell wall followed by the cell membrane, followed by the nuclear membrane and then you are going to have histone proteins. And there would be RNA also that would be present and ribosomes of course. Now one by one you have to digest all these so that what you are left with remains to be DNA only. Okay, You have to digest all of them. Now supposedly if it is a cell wall so you have to use cellulase. Take the cells from where you have to extract the genes. They are taken in the test tube supposedly. This is the test tube. It is given. Supposedly you have to extract some gene, some gene which belongs to a plant cell. So you are going to take the plant extract, put it in the test tube. What all you have to add? You have to add cellulase. Supposedly it is a fungal cell. You will have to add chitinase whatever the cell wall is made up of knowing you have to put an enzyme which digests the cell wall okay that is to be added then for digestion of cell membrane you have to add proteases specific type of proteases they would digest the cell wall as well as the cell membrane and apart from that they would digest the histone proteins also on which the DNA is coiled. Nucleosomes are formed by coiling of DNA over the histone so those histone proteins would be digested by proteases. So the second stage, second barricade is also cleared. Then remains RNA that RNA is to be digested using RNases specific type of enzymes which would digest the RNAs as well. So what you are left with in the end? You are left with DNA because you did not aim to digest it. Now this extract which has everything dissolved, it would be taken and chilled ethanol would be added to it. Now this process of adding chilled ethanol is known as spooling. When the chilled ethanol is added to a content where you have added these proteins for digest uh, these enzymes for digestion of specific layers of the cell so that you are left with DNA only that process is known as spooling and it results in DNA settling down in the form of fine threads okay what you see is all the DNA of the cells which you had taken it separates and settle down as threads because you had added chilled ethanol. So that leads to spooling and you are getting the DNA that you wanted. You have extracted the DNA from the cell and this is what the process dealed with that was isolation of genetic material and with this we come to the end of first step. Following lesson is about the next step which is cutting that DNA that we will see in the next video.